everyone and welcome back to another video if you're new here then thank you for clicking on this video i hope that by the end of it you will want to subscribe and please feel free to check out all my other videos that i've done so about three months ago i decided to get the iud fitted now I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know what an IUD is. Now, I'm three months in to having it fitted. If you haven't seen my experience of having it fitted, then I will put it at the end of this video. I'll put it up here somewhere so you can click on it and watch it. And I just wanted to do like an updated video on how it's been, um, where I'm at now, and all that kind of, and also answer some of your questions as well. So I did put a poll on my Instagram story asking if any of you guys have any questions and I have had quite a few questions back so um, if you don't follow me on my Instagram then I'll put it up here because then you can get involved with any polls that I do on my story for like videos like this. So yeah I'm just gonna kind of talk about the last three months and how it's been for me. So when i had it fitted i think i was okay for the first week or two and then after that i did have a bleed so i think i had like a period um it was enough to, for me to wear a, pa a sanitary towel and then i think that lasted about a week I'd say and then I think I stopped I didn't have anything for quite a long time and I did have quite a bit of pain here and there but I'd say for the last two months after that period I was doing okay I wasn't really bleeding much and the pain I'd say was you know it'd come and go it was bearable it would only last for like i don't know an hour in the day and then it got to about two three weeks ago from filming this video so quite recent i started to get really really bad pain but no blood so i would be you know just getting on with my day and then all of a sudden i'd get a really bad period pain and I sometimes it would be so bad I'd have to go and lay down and you know like try and have a nap or just curl up in a ball and just like try and rest it off I would take ibuprofen because I've heard that ibuprofen is the medication that you should really take for period pains so I was just dosing myself up on ibuprofen and I, I wouldn't it kind of helped but there would be days where it would be so bad that I didn't feel like it touched the sides like I just felt like it was just you know shutting me down so that started to happen about two three weeks ago and it started to be every day as I said some days I could deal with it some days I couldn't so I left it and I left it and I just thought oh you know maybe I'm having a period but with no blood so I just kind of you know let it do its thing and tried to deal with it and then it got to a point where it was you know it didn't seem to stop like the pain was just you know consistent it was every day so I decided to book in to have a checkup now I think they advise you to do this anyway after a few months of having it fitted but I mean, I wasn't intending to, if I was okay, I wasn't intending to go back, but, and they also do say that you should try and feel for the strings as well, if you can, because if you can feel the strings, then that usually means that everything's fine, it's not moved, it's, you know, it's in the perfect position, and yeah, so they do advise you to check, but I don't feel like I could do that, I didn't feel comfortable doing that, so I thought, I'll just book for a checkup and just let them check and you know they know what they're looking for and what's right and what's wrong and then I can also inform them about the pain and see if that's normal as well so I booked in a week ago so Monday so you'll probably be watching this on Thursday 
I, so it would be about a week ago from you guys seeing this video, I had a checkup. So I went back to the clinic where I had it fitted and I just told them, you know, the pain that I'd been having and the bit of blood I'd been having, not a lot of blood, um, but a bit of spotting here and there. And um, she basically said that it is normal. And I, I was Googling it as well. I was Googling, you know, is this pain normal? And they do say up to six months it is normal. But I just thought I best go and check, you know? It's always best to check. Never feel like you're being overly dramatic going for a checkup because, you know, you just never know. So, yeah, she decided to examine me basically how you have it fitted she just opened me up and she just basically had a look just to see that it was in the right place and it hadn't moved you know she didn't put her hands up there or anything it was literally just a matter of opening me up and she could apparently see um the strings were there and they were okay and yeah she basically just said that everything's fine so in a way i was relieved but in a way i was like oh, you know it's kind of annoying that I'm having this pain every day but funny enough after I had that checkup I hadn't really had the pain like it kind of just stopped I still get a bit of you know a funny pain here and there but not haven't had anything bad since having the checkup so fingers crossed it stays like that but I know that you know I'm expecting for it to come back and it is normal and I also I didn't want to kind of like give up there and then because obviously as I said before I checked on Google and it does say up to six months you can experience pain so I didn't want to because she did offer that to me when I went she said you know if it does get really bad we can take it out and you can try another one or you can go back to the pill like it's completely up to me what i decide to do but i didn't want to give up so soon because it has only been three months so i do want to ride it out for the full six months at least and then see how i'm getting on and then go from there so yeah i definitely wasn't ready to give up i just wanted to make sure that the pain that i was having was normal so if you're watching this video and you're three months in and you're experiencing pain then and you're debating whether to go for a checkup or not i mean i'd advise you to go for a checkup just in case but you know from what i've experienced if you're three months in and you're having pain it is apparently normal so yeah so now we're going to jump into the second half of the video which is going to be questions and answers so as i said at the beginning I put a questions and answers on my Instagram story and I wanted you guys to ask me some questions about the IUD, any questions that you may have. Obviously, I'm not an expert, I don't know everything, but I'm just gonna kind of give you my experience and how I found it and hope that that helps you. Okay, so one of the questions that someone asked, by the way, all these questions are anonymous. I won't be naming who asked me these questions. So the first question is, how long did it take to settle? My copper one is, my my copper one, I'm still bleeding and it's been three weeks. So I'm assuming this person has the copper coil, which I don't have. I have the Kylina coil and the copper coil, I believe is the non-hormonal one. And I, to be honest, when i was looking to get my coil i did look into the copper one because obviously that's the non-hormonal non one so that's the one that a lot of girls like to go for because obviously it's there's no hormones in it but that was the one that i heard quite a lot of bad reviews about so that's why i didn't go for that one otherwise i probably would have loved to because the fact that it's non-hormonal but i heard that a lot of people have a lot of bleeding during that so to answer your question on how long it took my coil to settle, I'd say, I don't know, I'm going to cover myself and say two weeks to settle. Because as I said, the first week I had a bleed and then, well it might have been just over a week, so that's why I'm going to say two weeks. 
it took two weeks i'd say for my coil to settle and i had the kylina coil so obviously it's not the same as the copper coil and this girl has the copper coil so that's probably why she's still bleeding after three weeks so what i would recommend is that you try and maybe watch some videos on someone that does have the marina coil uh, not the marina is it the marina or the copper coil um because then obviously you will know more of what they're going through because obviously they've got the copper coil whereas for me i can't really answer that because i don't have the copper coil i can only really say you know my experience with the kylina coil so i'd say three weeks it might be normal because mine was as i said two weeks so i would ride it out for a little longer and just see how you get on so yeah thank you for your question but unfortunately i can't really say you know if that's normal or not because i'm not on i don't have the copper coil but um i would advise you to maybe go and check with whoever you had it fitted by or just as i said watch videos on someone that has the copper coil okay so the next question is thinking of getting it but heard people get thrush slash infections once it's in have you no i haven't had any signs of an infection or thrush i don't really know what the signs would be to be honest if i was to have that um but i mean I, nothing has changed down there since having it fitted so i would say no i haven't had that i mean i'm assuming it would be like discharge or um itchiness or something like that but no i haven't had that so um i think i don't know i guess you just might be unlucky if you get that i wouldn't let that put you off the next question is will my partner feel the strings during sex so from my situation i would say yes it is possible i'm not going to speak too much on harry's behalf because he isn't here so um but i will say yes uh, they can it's not painful for them it's normal um, when i went for my checkup the lady in there actually did ask harry if he could feel them and it did fr throw him off quite a bit but um <laughs> no you you can as a man potentially feel the strings but it does not interfere with anything it does not hurt apparently but yeah my answer is yes they could potentially feel the strings but if i was you i wouldn't say anything to them because they probably wouldn't notice it anyway i mean the, the whole idea of it is obviously off-putting to them because they know that something is up there but I wouldn't make it a big thing because otherwise they'll probably be dramatic and say they felt it when they didn't so I would just just don't say anything to them so the next question is can you feel it on a day-to-day -day basis now I can a hundred percent assure you no 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 you cannot feel it on a day-to-day -day basis I thought at first when I first had it fitted that I will be able to sit down like i will be able to like go to the toilet or like there were so many things going through my mind when i'd first had it fitted but i can honestly ass assure you that you wouldn't know it's in your body so the next question is do you feel like your mood swings have got better since having the coil fitted now i don't know if this is all psychological or if it's actually true but when i had when i was on the pill i did find myself being very moody lashing out very easily crying all the time and now having the coil i do feel like i'm a lot more calmer i don't react to things in such a dramatic way um i'm still a bit of a crier i must admit but not as much but then again, I don't know, as I said, is it all in my head, you know, psychological or, you know, my mindset has changed a lot in the last year. So it could be down to that. It could be, you know, me 
try and, you know, I'm trying to have a bit more of a positive mindset nowadays as I'm learning about the law of attraction and all stuff like that. So I don't know if it's in my head, but I do feel like I don't get easily triggered. <laughs> um and yeah i would say that my mood swings have gotten better so i don't know i don't know if it's the coil or if it's just all in my head okay so the next question is is it safe to wear tampons during my period if i have an iud fitted now i can't answer this because i don't wear tampons but i am going to google it for you and try and find a helpful answer because i use sanitary towels so i've never used tampons so i wouldn't know how that would be once having the iud fitted so i'm going to find try and find an answer on google for you okay so i found here that it says use of sanitary pads is recommended if tampons are used you should change them more frequently and with care so as not to pull the threads of the RUD when manipulating the pad. So that's your answer. So if you are using a tampon, then you should change them more often. And when you take them out, make sure you don't pull the thread from the coil with the tampon. Another question was, do I feel the coil during sex and that answer is no i don't feel any discomfort or pain down there no I, I wouldn't even know i think at first when you first have it fitted you do it is kind of on your mind you are like oh am i gonna feel it like you're unaware but once you've done it once then you know that you know it doesn't cause pain what well, shouldn't cause pain if it does cause pain then I would recommend going back to your clinic and inquiring about that. But no, you shouldn't feel it and it shouldn't be painful. And I don't think you should bleed either. Um, all those things I would inquire about just in case. And the last question is, have you noticed any weight gain since having your IUD fitted? Now, no, I haven't. I kind of changed my diet not long after I had the IUD fitted, so I was seeing a lot of weight loss, but I think that was mostly down to the fact that I was eating healthier. So no, I would say I haven't noticed any weight gain since having it fitted. Bloating, I kind of have in the last few weeks since having that pain. I have noticed a lot of bloating, kind of sometimes trouble going to the toilet, but I I don't know, apparently those are all normal. I think I was just maybe having, as I said, a period, but just no blood um, because I was having the pain but and the bloating and the sore boobs. Oh my God, the sore boobs is one of them. Oh my God. My boobs have never been so sore in my life. Like even just brushing my arm across them, would feel so so uncomfortable and sore and they were red and oh, it was just horrible so yeah apparently i had all the side effects that were normal so yeah but to answer your question no i haven't experienced any weight gain since having the coil fitted so that is going to go ahead and finish off today's video Thank you to those that asked me your questions. I really appreciate you getting involved in these videos. I love helping people and, you know, giving off my experience. I've got nothing to hide. I think it's nice to help each other out. If you are watching this video and you have any questions, then please feel free to ask me them in the comment section below. I will happily answer your questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.